My cable kit is on order via, um, what the hell's the name of the place? AutoZone. Three days, four days ago. I call them today, it's supposed to be in. They go, oh, well, the vendor canceled the order. Go figure. So, this is going to be my shortening kit. I'm going to cut this thing open. The factory uh, hook, hook eye for the front where the pedals are. I'm going to cut this open and get the cable out of it. And I'm going to weld this set screw piece inside of it. There's my cable shortening kit right there. All done. Now this is the end that goes up near the uh, transmission. Uh, my friend Rich has the butterfly for it, but when I get a new cable, won't need that. This was the metal I was going to make the shortener in, or have Bob make the shortener in. Um, that's not happening. I figured out a better idea. We could do that. I mean, that's done. Cut the cable, slide it in. All done. So I'm going to mess on slicing this thing open and putting it inside there. So this is my homemade uh, clutch cable shortening kit. I could have welded it around there, but I didn't. Um, the seam filled pretty good. This is the shortest cable on earth, but it's a demo. Cable fits in there good. Looks good. I got all these little things to do. Uh, I like to, that's it, I gotta put my horn back together. That's right. I can hear Dawn out there trying to start his car. 69 Buick Regal. Buick something isn't a Regal. It's a, um, oh, I can't believe I can't remember what it is. 69 Buick. Anyway, I'm gonna put this thing back together. A little, uh, what do you call it? Raid horns all back together. Shriek horn. Um, I did a, I had to cut the heads off those screws because they was too long, but they were stainless steel, so no big deal. And I just did a little touch up of black. Um, aside from this one being shortened, I have to lengthen this one. I believe it was 17 inches. Um, I don't have a master cylinder yet. Hopefully, I'm going to get it this weekend. Right, these nuts gotta go back on the back side of the motor when I get it together. But this comes apart. Let me unscrew it. Hold on. What I have to do is make a rod that lets me still adjust it. So I'm gonna need threads on this end, and it's gotta be 17 inches long, so it's gotta screw into that end. Or if it's fixed on one end and screws into the other, it doesn't matter. Maybe I could just cut this and uh, welded to a tube or something. I might have some kind of material like that. I'm not sure, but I think it's square stock, so I don't think that's going to work. Um, as far as I'm concerned, garage cleaning is done. Everything that's off the floor is pretty much put away in one of these 10 drawers if you can get them shut, you know what I mean? Um, I have so much stuff. <laughs> but this is my next project. Extend this. Talk to my friend Rich. He has the butterfly that I cannot find. For this thing, so once I get my cable, if uh, AutoZone ever sells me one, I can put my clutch cable on in a jiffy. Let me get the brush. 
Now there's enough room behind here for this thing. Let's see if you can see it. For that to hook on. Alright. That's hooked on. This is about all you're going to see of this new bracket shorty cable thing I made right there. That goes down to the pulley and up to the tube and back to the clutch where the butterfly is. But I just want a clutch cable. Nobody wants to give me a clutch cable. So that little project is solved. Maybe I'll just spray some paint on it make a look at what the hell I'm here. This one's next. Uh, I gotta figure out what thread that is, what kind of material I have. It's factory Volkswagen. You can see the little logo right there. Volkswagen. But it's been a long day. I'm surprised I even got this done. But I'm going in. Have a good night. You know what? I'm thinking, when this is all ready, I'm going to mark the two holes and bring it over here and maybe put it on this side of the plate right there, pointing down towards the left side, so it's kind of in the middle. I can't put it in the middle. Or it could go into here, because you're not going to see much of it, but I just don't want it to get in the way of my pedals, which they don't go back, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put here. This is just one of those things that was on the uh, exercise equipment that I was like, hey, who cares? Leave it there. It's not going to hurt anybody. Maybe I'll find a use for it. Maybe it could be, I don't know, headlight bracket, uh, I don't know. Who knows? But, I need more ideas. Actually, I need more metal. Metal would be good. Gotta look around my piles here. That's some rods. Got a whole bunch out back, but I'm afraid to go back. I have a skunk living in a, uh, Waste oil will burn a box thing that's behind the garage over here. I'm not going out there. That's what I was waiting for. Ooh, what's this? Here you go. Here's my throttle cable. Tube. I'll clean that up. What the hell? I'm going to get some black paint and uh, clean up this metal, too. All I did was wire brush it. On my little grinder. One end's a brush, one end's a grinder. There you go. Gave it my uh, best redneck paint job. And that's when you wrap it with a rag. Well, you don't want to paint. You just hold it in your hand and go. Tch, 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 tch. There you go. Ah, uh, piece of hair. Whose hair is that? And I'm not picking on rednecks because a redneck is just someone who gets it done. Oh my God, I might be one. No, leave me a message. You think I'm a redneck? I don't care either way. Ooh. Rattle can paint job. It's another name for that. What the hell do they call it? Gonna leave that there, let that dry. That's it. Now I'm going in. You have a good night. You just knew I was gonna paint that. Oh, one less thing to restore. At least when my cable gets here, I can just go bing, 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 and it's in. Now if I could have some brakes. Okay, okay, see ya. Have a good night. Get in there. Oh, I'm gonna drill a hole. Yeah.